Thank you very much. And welcome to the joy of stress. Joyful <laughs> about being in traffic with somebody who failed driver's ed. <laughs> and what about this person I live with who just won't study their relationship dictionary? <laughs> How about the kids who fail to get to the bus every morning? I just don't know what to do. It's terrible. But we may have some answers here today because, you know, stress is positive or negative depending on how you look at it. And each and every one of us has within ourselves the power to decide how to interpret stressful events. We can do it with humor. We can do it with wisdom. Sometimes we can use some compassion. Sometimes we can use patience. And sometimes we can just accept the situation for what it is. I, I just a little aside about this. Uh, you might want this information. You know why a lot of people are stressed about sex now? It's because they don't have time. And they don't, they don't have the ability to fit it into their schedule. So they're exhausted and tired and there's no time for sex. And how do I know this? Well, this has now reached sort of a, an epidemic. And Oprah Winfrey had a show on this. And she had several tired couples on one afternoon. <laughs> So now on Friday night, you have another job. <laughs> now, I can, I can think of a better method, and I happen to have one myself, but what I like to do is I just tell my husband to start without me. <laughs> I tell him when it sounds good, I'll be in. <laughs> I used to own a fitness center, and I taught aerobics, can you tell? <laughs> and any time I ask people how they got heavy, they'd say, well, I went to a wedding. I said, you got like this at one wedding? And of course, there's all the people who are bloated. Do you know how many people are bloated? It's like a nation of walking waterbeds. It's funny, I come from an Italian family, Sicilian. And my grandmother had the whole thing, but he only had one arm. But he thought he had two. <laughs> Anytime anybody was having a bad time, he'd go up to them and say, you're having trouble because you only have two hands. I'm going to have to help you because I have one. Eternal optimist. And you know what they've discovered? That optimists actually live longer. Pessimists are accurate but they don't live as long. 